Hello, this is a practice video to help you with the ending section of the um, Bach Cello Suite number one. Uh, so, in the lesson, uh, we were working on the end string crossing section, but we're just going to go from the scale, where the scales come down, um, where it's piano, sort of middle of the page on the second page. So, um, I think we should probably stay in first position for all these scales. So there, don't go up. But do use a fourth finger for this A. Okay, so all in first position. Okay, um, so I think I had the bone just the wrong way around there because I need to come out. Okay, so this is the string crossing section. So we're just going to use the lower notes and not do the top notes. So we're gonna do all the first position bit first. So we have F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, E, F When you're practicing those lower notes, um, try and get a feeling for the phrasing um, that you want to bring out. Because this is the tune. Yeah? Okay, and then just practice the, um, the bowing so we want a nice Remember, it's a relaxed shoulder, heavy arm weight, knuckles low. And so we're not going high and straight wrist, knuckles low and the feeling hanging on the bow. And then we're going to do our string crossing. So it's down bow on the D and up bow on the A. And we go into the string. Make sure you release the first finger, so sort of as you as you set the bow on the string, tap all the fingers to make sure everything's loose, let the knuckles fall low, and you want to be, it feels like stirring a pot. Okay, and then we put them both together. So we're gonna go from the, that's another little section of practice. You could practice the scales one session, you could practice that little section in the next session. So now we do exactly the same um, for the section where it shifts, okay? So it might be worth running into it. Again, we do the lower notes. So F sharp, D, E, F sharp. Now, on the music, I've written a line. This is where we shift. So a G, A, B, open D. Second finger A, shift, make sure you bring the elbow round, C, natural, open D, B, C natural, D. Now this note here is exactly halfway up the string and you've got a halfway harmonic there. So if you're concerned about your tuning, just put, gently put your hand on and then you'll know whether you're in tune, so you're exactly halfway up your string. So, B, C, D, B, C, B, C. Shifting back, so you bring the elbow back round to an A, you're in third position here. Now we're just shifting down the neck of the viola, so that's just an opening one. Okay, so let's just do the whole of that section um, without a running commentary from me. So we're going to go from the start of the bar where we do our shifting.
K. We've already practiced the um, the scooping bowing. As it gets higher, the tendency will be to tense and, and go, so we need to make sure that we stay in the string, relaxed hand. Okay, so let's add the A's in now. So really slowly. Now the trick is, the tricky thing is, um, you have to slightly sharpen the angle of your fingers so that you don't touch the A string um, and clip it so it keeps a nice sound, but also but, but having your fingers flat enough on the strings to create a nice tone. So you know there are quite a few challenges in that section. Um, really you have to sort of put, it's a bit like patting your head and rubbing your tummy, you put your bowing arm on autopilot and just let it keep going. Don't think about it. And then put your attention onto the tune with, with the hand going up, but don't let it if the, interfere with what's going on here. Okay, so that's the next section of practice. And then we have the next bit where the pedal note, which is the note that keeps going, changes from an A to a D. Okay, so the, um, the bowing pattern changes rather than D, A, D, A, D, A that we have been doing. The rhythm pattern then becomes an A, D. So, so before we had D, A, and now we've got A, D, A, uh, um. But the up bow has been shifted onto the um, onto the beat, so it just has a slightly different emphasis. So let's just practice it. We've got up bow on the A, down bow on the D. So it's again, it's a stirring motion with a nice relaxed hand, loose first finger, relaxed shoulder, and you don't want big splashy movements. You want to try and. enough to get a clean stroke on each string okay um, so now let's practice the top notes on their own without the D and it's a chromatic scale all the way up the tricky thing is um, it's the clef changes halfway so visually it looks like the notes drop down but they don't um, so uh, let's just work on it really slowly so we're going to go from the piano again from the slur so this is a down bow and then F natural F sharp G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. It might be just worth practicing that little section on its own. Um, just a thought, you might want to put a fourth finger on that G sharp. Um, so try it either way. I'll do it with the fourth finger this time and see which you feel is more easy. F, F sharp, G, G sharp. And then this is where we shift. And make sure that octave is really clear. And that shift is one of the just closing. You're just going up the neck of the viola. And then this next note, even though you change clef, is just a semitone above. So you've gone from a D to an E flat. And what I'll do is I'll just show you the fingering. So it's e, D in third position, E flat, shift up on a one to an E natural. Second finger goes down to an F natural. Second finger slides to an F sharp. Third finger goes down to a G, and that can be tested with your open string to check whether you've arrived in tune. Right, so let's just do that really slowly. We've arrived in third position on a D. So, E flat, slide up, E, second finger F, slide it up, F sharp, and then arrive on a G. 
and actually you will end up on an up bow for these slurs and that's actually okay it does work really well that way so let's now just do the whole chromatic scale F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, shift, D, E flat, shift, E, F, face slide, F sharp, G. So practice that chromatic scale going up a lot of times before you add in the D, but the D drone can actually help you with your tuning. Okay. So last section of practice, we're nearly there, is the last line. Um, once you've arrived up here, your hand stays, it says rest day, which means stay up for the whole of the rest of the, um, of this, of the, um, of the piece. So we've got a third finger on a G, tuck in the second finger just behind it to give you the B, and then the first finger is ready on a D, so we're in um, fourth position. And for the bow, the temptation is, because we're a little bit worried about putting that chord down, to go over the fingerboard. But we're high up on the string, so actually the closer you go to the bridge, the better sound you're gonna get, okay? So be brave, um, but the sounding point of the strings will change depending on one, how high up they're stopped, and two, just because naturally they have different sounding points. So A string, you want to be quite close to the bridge. Um, um, then we're sort of angling back and back. So do you see my bow is actually at a bit of a diagonal angle to get the best sounding point. If you went exactly parallel to the bridge, what works for one string doesn't work you get a bit of a raspy sound for the other strings so you have to be quite clever about angling your bow it's very subtle but you can do these separate bows first to get the good tuning and when you're tuning make sure you once you've tuned that top note you keep that still and tune the second finger to it And then add in the okay and then very slowly practice your string crossings so don't be afraid of going close to the bridge relax your arm weight So this is tricky because you're keeping the G still and that first finger has to create a fifth. Now to tune your fifth, if you swing your elbow and put your finger quite flat, that will help with tuning that fifth. And then here the second finger comes in behind the third finger and the third finger swaps over so you sort of feel like you're doing French knitting okay so that goes over the top so you've got your F sharp squeeze in the third finger but you've still got your D pedal And then here, the temptation is just to release everything. But if you do that, then you're gonna lose your position. So you hop that second finger over onto the D string, release the first finger for the open G, and replace the third finger back. So basically, these two fingers are swapping back. Okay, for this chord. And we tune the B. The open G. And the top one and then we do two two strings at a time so and then okay so don't grab at it take your time tune that chord okay so there's lots of little chunks of practice um, to do take a little note of where in the video I'm doing each one watch it through check the fingerings 
check some of the practice notes um, and then have a go at working through it.